hi everyone welcome back in today's video so in this tutorial i am going to show you how to dilute how to reconstitute iv argumentin so that you are able to administer the drug to the patient safely and effectively so in today's video i am going to show you how to reconstitute how to dilute the correct way iv argumentin or amoxiclav that is amoxicillin and potassium clavonolate 1.2 gram so i am going to show you how to dilute this drug so that you are able to administer the drug to the patient safely and effectively so before you start diluting the drug this is what you are supposed to do so make sure you check the expiry date of the drug so before you start diluting the drug make sure you check the expiry date of the drug then you have to confirm from there after that you have to check the route of administration for example before you start diluting the drug make sure you check the route of administration for example how you, are you going to give the drug to the patient is it IV or IM or uh, subcutaneously or intradermally so you have to check the route of administration because you have to follow the five rights of drug administration that is right drug right patient right dose right route and right time so you have to follow the five rights of drug administration before you start administering the drug to the patient that is for example you have to check the way of administration that is the route of administration you have to check if the drug is given through intravenously or intramuscular injection you have to confirm so in our drug today we have for iv use only so we can see it is telling us for IV use only. So before you start diluting any drug, before you start reconstituting any drug, you have to check routes of administration, you have to check the expiry date of the drug, you have to check the dose of the patient, you have to check the time of administration. For instance, before you start preparing the drug, you have to make sure that you have gathered all the materials you require, for example, you will need a 20 ml syringe so this is a 20 ml syringe so we shall be using the 20 ml for us to dilute the drug because in our instruction it's telling us is trial water for injection 20 ml so you have to dilute the drug is trial water for injection that is 20 ml in this case you cannot use the 10 ml syringe for you to dilute the drug so you will need a 20 ml syringe for you to prepare or reconstitute the drug again you will need a 21 gauge needle so you will need a 21 gauge needle or a 18 gauge needle for you to reconstitute the drug okay let us start now what you are supposed to do is first you remove the syringe from the manufacturer from the manufacturer's packaging then what you are supposed to do, you can use the 21 gauge needle or the 18 gauge needle. So let me use the 18 gauge needle. So I will be using the 18 gauge needle for me to prepare the drug. So you remove it from the manufacturer's packaging. Then you attach it into the syringe. You attach the needle into the syringe. So you make sure you remove any air purple before you start diluting the drug. So make sure first you remove any air purple before you start reconstituting the drug. Okay, then what you are supposed to do, and you have to get the to get the argument injection. This is what you will see. So this is the sterile water for injection, which is a 20 ml, and this is the white border of argument injection, which is 1.2 gram which is equivalent amoxicillin and potassium calavranate injection BB 1.2 gram okay first when you make sure you open the cup of the water for injection then you start withdrawing the water for injection first so you withdraw the water for injection first so this is how you are going to withdraw the water for injection first so first you withdraw the water for injection then you remove the air purple then what you're supposed to do you open the cup of the vial so you open the cup of the vial then what you do you insert the needle deep into the vial then you 
transfer the soil water for injection into the vial all of the water like that so you remove the needle and you start shaking it gently like this you start shaking it gently like this until the solution is clearly containing no white particles or visible particles so this is how we are going to dilute the IV augmenting or amoxicillin and potassium, potassium calavanolate acid 1.2 milligram so this is how you are going to dilute the drug so you have to wait for some time the solution to dissolve so it should not contain any visible particles or a brisket bit so you wait for some time the drug you wait for some uh, minutes to the drug to dissolve then you are able to administer the drug to the patient so make sure when you are administering avoid touching where you have uh, inserted the needle of the vial so always avoid touching this area because you may contaminate the opening of the vial and you may also contaminate the content of the drug that will be very dangerous for you to administer the drug to the patient so you have to avoid touching around the area of the opening of the vial this is because you may contaminate the opening of the vial and again when you are withdrawing the drug you may contaminate the content of the drug and that will be very dangerous for you to administer the drug to the patient okay let us now see how to withdraw the reconstituted uh, drug so this is how you are going to do so you insert the needle then you withdraw the drug safely like this so this is how you are going to withdraw the drug back into the syringe then you start administering the drug to the patient safely and effectively without any contamination or without any interruptions that may bring damage or that may bring in dangers to the patient then before you administer make sure you remove the air purple so you remove the air purple so you remove the air purple before you start administering the drug to the patient okay when you finish preparing when you finish diluting the drug then you are going to administer the drug to the patient through IV but not IM so in today's we have a patient who has IV cannulation then what you are supposed to do you remove you remove the cap of the needle then you get the patient's hand so you apply pressure on the tip of the vein to avoid blood coming outside the cannula without your command so you remove the cap of the cannula then what you are supposed to do you insert the syringe you insert the syringe deep into the cannula then you start administering the drug safely so this is how you are going to administer IV argumentin safely and effectively so that you are able to so this is how you are going to administer IV argumentin so it is very very simple it is a very very simple method in which you can administer the drug then what you do you apply pressure on the tip of the cannula you remove the syringe then you attach the cannula you attach the cup of the cannula on the cannula then this is how you are going to administer the drug to the patient then when you finish administering the drug to the patient then you remove the cannula to the patient so this is how you are going to remove the cannula you open it so you remove the cannula so this is how you are going to administer the drug to the patient then when, when you finish the procedure you thank the patient for being patient along the procedure so thank you for your watching and have a nice day.